Hello everyone, welcome to these Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the G.I. Joe Classified series, 60th Anniversary, Action Sailor, Recon Diver. Now this is one of four that we know we're going to get. Could we see a fifth, maybe uh, Adventure Team or the uh, the female nurse? I don't know, we'll wait and see, but uh, let's dive into this here. So I was supposed to have mine two weeks ago from Amazon, however, it got damaged at the Amazon facility and returned to the sender. And... Um, they didn't really give me much info. They just issued me a refund a couple days later. I was like, oh, great. Had to reorder it. Here he is today. So diving into it, we get our deluxe packaging. Now, I believe Jersey Maniac on Instagram was the one that pointed out that Retro Scarlet has more accessories than him, than the Recon Diver for a uh, $10 cheaper price point. So something's not really making sense there. We'll, uh, we'll look at all his stuff and go from there. So we got a nice 60th anniversary logo on the back right there. We got like a little bit of a... So a map you got your elevation and stuff the grid and all that good stuff there's that logo right there 1964 2024 nice little gold logo action sailor recon diver so could we see an action sailor that's not a recon diver in the future i don't know we'll have to see i don't know any other navy terms to come up with something to <laughs> action sailor uh boat crewman i don't know i don't know boat pilot boat sailor boat driver who knows gi joe classified series we got our artwork right there flip it over on the side we got our qr code that still does not work we're uh we are we at a year of the qr code not working yet i'm not exactly sure same artwork right there we get a little uh shot of the diver right there gi joe logo top not too much going on we got like some bubbles and stuff so that's pretty fun as if you're underwater full shot of the artwork on the side right there go to the back your legal shenanigans then we get a nice little uh, G.I. Joe logo, 60th logo. Another shot of the figure. Looks like he just came ashore. He's ready to do some work, some wet work. Zoom in on the uh, breathing apparatus. Little schematics on his wrist and all your other stuff. So the weapons were in the uh, plastic tray. Getting him, getting them out though, they're uh, they're still kind of on that flimsy side, so they're not they're not perfect. It's just that crappy material because then again. They are for four plus, so keep that in mind if you're going to complain that much about uh, the weapons. You're going to go cry on Facebook about how flimsy they are. But throw them in some hot water, straighten them out, you're good to go. Starting off, we got the harpoon. We've seen it with uh, the eels. We saw it with torpedo. This one's black with a uh, silver tip, spear gun. I'm sorry. Then you got your uh, green cord for the uh, the launch portion or whatever. We got the rifle we got with uh, torpedo, a little SMG looking thing. Not a whole lot going on there. Porthole for blast effects. Magazine does drop out. Something we didn't see that we should have saw with torpedo. Pistol. It's got that uh, extended mag. Cut the porthole. It does have the suppressor. Suppressor pegs in like so. Good to go. And I believe it should peg into the... Uh, the rifle also. So you're good to go. Kind of disappointed we didn't see that with uh, torpedo. We got our uh, explosives. If that's what you want it to be, technically it could be whatever you want it to be. It's just basically like a satchel. Got some blasting caps on the top. It's got the strap. It's good to go. We saw it with retro snake eyes. We're getting it in this green color now for the diver. We get this uh, self propeller thing and the pro propeller does spin inside it I don't know why it's very interesting a little bit of a computer on the front there like a little radar sonar action it's got a handle up in the front two handles on the back and then obviously it goes this way and they hang above it just like the picture show but a lot of uh, people who got this early even the guy with the Call of Duty name um, as his profile name ended up having it backwards so there you go and then we got all kinds of writing and stuff on the side you know, some rust will be used by trained military personnel, misuse the vehicle, blah, blah, blah. So, even put some legalese on it. Is it necessary? No. I, I would have rather had maybe another screen on this blank piece right here instead of just all this hoopla. They could have just put, you know, the the blank scribbles right here that we saw. Then we got our G.I. Joe logo moving forward on the other side. We get our retro stand. Nothing we haven't seen before. 
We get the same set of flippers we've seen already twice. The left and the right for the uh, diver. We get this giant silver knife. Mine's all crazy. From it, I popped it out of the plastic and it like stayed that way. Black handle, silver blade. Going into the rest of the dive gear, we got this nice uh, like buoyancy balance vest thing. And it looks pretty good. We'll, we'll get that on the figure here in a second. We got our air pack that we saw with uh, Torpedo. We saw with the eel, except it just doesn't have the jets in the bottom. It has this little uh, clamp thing. Then it's got uh, three Cobra kills. And then G.I. Joe issued classified grade property special force unit, not for civilian use or resale. So, again, we're getting, we're getting fun stuff, but is it necessary? Eh. Could we have just kept the twenty four ninety nine price point and not had, you know, this Tampo stuff? If you're a diehard 12-inch Joe collector and you pick these up instead, thinking they're not Joe vs. Cobra, and then you get, you know, a bunch of anti-Cobra kills here, you're like, I don't know. We got the portholes for the hoses, but we don't have any hoses to port into there, so... Um, it's weird, weird reuse. I'm not gonna, I don't want to say lazy, but it just seems, like, misplaced. We got our dive mask with the rebreather. It does not come out of this. It does not detach. It's all one piece. We got clear lenses finally. Something we should have had with torpedo right off the bat. We got the number 24. Got a peg hole here. Got your little mini air tank thing. And then the peg right there. We got this uh, like dive computer thing. Different gauges and stuff. Um, I looked up a bunch of uh, diving stuff to figure all this stuff out. So it's pretty... Pretty interesting to see like all the different computers and depths and how long they've been underwater, how much air they've got left, how much air they're using, all the different stuff that all the uh, the divers have to keep track of, especially when they're doing some long range uh, recon diving. So and that pegs in on the front like so. What this is exactly, no clue. So the the closest I could figure out was uh, just the dive camera. So there's that, and it's got a peg hole. It goes into this. Uh, his Molly vest, which we'll get into in a second. Something fun that I saw. We're seeing some dog tags. Now, obviously, this is the first time we've seen these. It's a nice little throwback to the 12-inch. Uh, I grabbed these out of the, my uh, my childhood one, actually. 12-inch Joes. And uh, they all came with that, that G.I. Joe dog tag. That Does that mean they're just, like, officially licensed or, or what? But... I don't know, so that's a, that's a fun little toss-in. Um, simple. W will it fit? We'll see. I mean, obviously we got the Major Blood with his stack. And then, uh, what other necklaces do we got so far? The Whistle for Slaughter, and then um, the Razor Blade Necklace for Ripper. Then you get two heads. You get a light skin head, get the dark skin head. So it just all depends on what what you want for your setup. Going to the figure himself, we get the same exact uh, body as wetsuit. So I think these two are the same sculpt. But if you look at, uh, I'm sorry, not wetsuit, uh, torpedo. If you look at torpedo's head, he's, he's got a different head. But I feel like these two are the same, same sculpt. So... I'm not really sure, but they look pretty damn similar. Obviously, you know, all those painters and customizers, they'll, they'll know better. But it looks very, very close from everything. Just obviously the paint apps change everything and all that good stuff. But it's going to be a gray suit with black accents. Um, I don't think my light's going to be able to do it justice. You can kind of see the difference in the paint apps right there. And then going into the Molly vest, it's pretty fun. You got your flick, Molly vest, load bearing vest, whatever you want to call it. No uh, no additional paint apps on it besides this tube. So kind of kind of disappointing there. And then obviously we got the holster for the pistol. And then if you want to put the suppressor in, you can put the suppressor down in that in that little guy. Working our way down. We got our little Cobra computer, a little Cobra computer. We got our little diver computer. 
A little bit of radar GPS action going on. Nothing going on in this hand. And then we got the knife sheath from Torpedo that couldn't stay still. And this one keeps riding up. And mine's like cut poorly. Like I don't know if you can see all that extra plastic that's on there. And then my uh, this little leg panel with all these pouches and stuff. The lower strap was actually rotated around. So it I tried to unspin it and get it to go back to normal. And it's just staying, staying stretched out and all warped and wonky looking. And going down... You know, same articulation we saw. We got that weird ankle cut. Something different works out, I guess. A little bit of extra pain on this uh, on this molly vest would have been pretty good. The flick, whatever you want to call it, load bearing vest. We got the peg hole there, the peg peg hole here. So hopefully it works out pretty well. I know we got the action. Uh, grab all this stuff and get them all geared up for you guys. The uh, action sailor's gonna have the modular vest, and we're gonna start seeing a little more here, especially with the. The render reveal of Doc. So we'll have to see if it all works out. Hopefully it stays working out, but let's get him geared up. Without the uh, the dive mask and stuff, this uh, buoyancy vest is all over the place. It's not very uh, not very too snug. It, it, I mean, if you like, hold, I mean, if you tack it down or glue it down, if you're into that kind of stuff, it looks pretty solid. But otherwise, it's just kind of kind of all over the place bouncing around and stuff once you get the dab the dive mask on though it fits perfectly it doesn't bounce around and stuff the only issue is these these hoses are really short so you can't there's no unless you <laughs> detach everything there's no really uh moving the head around where's that that peg system that's all right it, it looks good for show but you know you can't move them around at all So, there you have your uh, recon diver. Grab an E. Torpedo. Did you guys pick him up? Skip out on him? If it's not Joe vs. Cobra, it's not your thing. I don't know. I'm kind of uh, kind of disappointed in him. I have uh, high hopes for the uh, action soldier. Obviously, you know, because I was in the army. But um, recon diver looks cool. I feel like he fell short in a few spots. Price point's a little goofy, um, especially if you're trying to to build up. Um, and these this gear is just kind of all over the place. Like it looks cool, it looks awesome, but you can't move his head. We got the reuse, but like we didn't patch any of that up. We could we couldn't get gotten the, uh, the extra mask maybe to mix things up. Uh, where's his other computer at? We'll plug that guy in. And go from there. So. I'll get it out. I mean, it's it looks good, but he can only do so much, and it's kind of a uh, kind of disappointing, um, huge letdown. And then the uh, thirty four dollars to troop build this guy. I don't know. It's it's what you want it to be. So if you guys pick him up, skip out on him. Waiting for other reasons. I know a couple websites messed up and had him for uh, ten bucks cheaper. So let me know in the comments below. Till next time, load up, grab your kits. See you on the battlegrounds.